Hi, this is Matt, and today I'm looking at the Workspace ONE UEM management for BitLocker. Um, so what you see here is a Windows 10 machine. Um, I've registered it in the Workspace ONE UEM console. As you can see at the moment, there's a few security concerns. Um, it's managed by MDM, so it's running the Workspace ONE agent. Automatic updates configured. However, um, AV, um, is failing, firewall's failing, BitLocker's turned off, and there's no recovery key set, which makes sense given that BitLocker's turned off. That machine itself is just a virtual machine, so it's not a physical device, but just for the purposes of the video, I've just created a virtual machine to capture how we can manage BitLocker. If I go to my uh, profiles, I've got a number of profiles in here for various operating systems. You can see down here, we've got one for Windows 10 BitLocker. It's optional, so that's not being applied automatically, so that's something I'll do manually. So in here, I've just called it Windows 10 BitLocker Encryption. Now I said it's optional. If the device is part of the smart group called Windows 10 devices, then it can be applied. If I come down to encryption, you can see that I'm using default method of encryption. I'm only encrypting the system uh, partition. I haven't got one set, but you can configure a custom URL for recovery. So if you've got a self-service portal so that the uh, users can go in and check their recovery keys if need be, um, you can have that published there. <coughs> I'm using the TPM chip, <coughs> excuse me, TPM chip. Um, however, if TPM is not present, then password can be used and minimum password length is eight characters. Okay, so I'm gonna save and publish that. So these are the machines that uh, you know would be eligible. So they are the Windows 10 machines, so that'd be correct. If I go back to my devices, and we go back and look at that Windows 10 machine, and go into profiles, and then come down to BitLocker. Oh, did I select that? Yep, and then click on install. So yep, I want to install that. So that's now got a tick next to it. So that's been, been passed through. So I'll do a quick refresh there. Okay. If we go back to summary, I'm just gonna see if there's been any update in there as yet. Okay, so you can now see that it's in progress. So that has been applied, that's actually uh, taking place. So if I minimize and I come in, to, this is my virtual machine. So you can see here, but uh, you know, TPM chip's not available because it's a virtual machine, therefore I need to set a password. Okay, so password set, and I'd hit that encrypt. And for those that have done uh, but you know, any sort of bit lock encryption in the past, you'll know this, this process itself can take um, an hour or so to fully encrypt the uh, disk. So obviously rather than sitting just watching a Windows 10 desktop, because nothing really happens there, it's nothing really visual, I'll just go back to the management console real quick. And simply, so it's still in progress, as I say, it's gonna take a while, but you know, there, there are, the ability to look at the recovery key would be there. Um, if you had an admin that was looking at recovery keys, you can also run a report to see who's been looking at those. So you can do some sort of reporting on that. But um, yeah, as I say, that, that process itself is gonna take a little while, so I won't continue to record. But there you can see how quick and simple it is to configure and enable BitLocker and control that from Workspace ONE UEM. Thanks for your time.